Welcome to our new video about fear of falling in lead climbing. If you've already seen the project episode 1, you know I've been struggling with some fear of falling. Arne has made up a six step plan for me to overcome that fear. In this video, we'll take you through all the steps. Let's go! Uh, so, before you start, uh, a small disclaimer. This video is not meant as a safety instruction, but it's just to give you a closer look on how we approach this. Maybe it will help you too. All right, step one. This step is all about mileage. Uh, pick an easy route and make sure it's well within your comfort level and try to climb it as relaxed as possible. This step is all about getting more comfortable while lead climbing. So make sure you pick a climb that's really easy for you, where you're not gonna fall. Um, this is so you can focus more on the lead climbing aspect and not on the route itself. Uh, use this step to uh, get used to lead climbing and to build some trust in your belayer and also to perfect your clipping skills. If you're really serious about uh, overcoming your fear, then make sure to implement this step in most of your climbing sessions. Only when you're really comfortable on easy terrain, then you can move on to the next steps. Step two. In this step, we're gonna start practicing some falls. Uh, to make it really comfortable at first, we're gonna start on top rope, so you can get used to the feeling of falling. First of all, make sure your belayer knows what the plan is before you start. Then climb to a safe falling height so you're not too close to the ground and uh, find a stable position on the wall. And then just let go of the wall and lean back. Some important things to consider when you're doing this for the first time. Uh, if you're gonna fall, make sure to release your hands first and then your feet so you don't fall too close to the wall. Um, don't grab the rope because if you grab it too high and then you slide down, then you get some burning marks on your hands. Uh, if you do want to grab something, uh, make sure you grab the nut, so really low down. With this exercise, it's important to start slow, so make the first few falls really small, and then slowly work your way up to some bigger falls. But don't overdo it, just keep it safe. Step 3. Uh, now we're going to slowly build up to lead climbing and falling. Uh, we're still going to pick an easy route and now we're going to practice some controlled falls. So we'll start off real small and work our way up to the bigger falls. This step is pretty similar to the previous step, only now instead of top rope we do it on lead. Uh, you should still pick an easy route and climb to a safe height again. I would say at least a fourth quick draw. Uh, now we're going to practice some small lead falls. You just start right above the quick draw and take a small fall. Make sure to lean back a little and catch yourself with your feet. Don't jump back too hard because then you will slam back into the wall. If you feel comfortable with the small falls, you can climb a little bit above the quick draw and make some slightly bigger falls. And when you fall a couple of times on the same quick draw, you can move up one quick draw and try some falls there. Don't forget to practice some falls where you're a little bit sideways of the quick draw because that's often the place where people get a little scared. Once you are comfortable with these controlled falls you can move on to step four. All right uh, we wanted to take a quick break to talk about the stigma on top roping because we know a lot of people really look down on top roping but there are a lot of valid reasons to not climb on it. So the most important part in climbing is to just have fun. So you can decide for yourself if you're gonna top rope or lead climb. Um, but if you do wanna get over your fear in lead climbing, we do hope these steps will help you. So let's get back to the action. Yo! <laughs> Step. Four. Uh, in this step, we're going to practice with uh, letting go of control. Uh, so your belayer now is going to tell you when to fall. Uh, but the most important part is that you uh, immediately let go if he tells you to, uh, without really thinking about it.
Now in this step it's really important that you completely trust your belayer because your belayer is the one who's gonna tell you when to fall. Uh, obviously it's important for your belayer to only tell you to fall when it's safe. So your belayer shouldn't tell you to fall when for example your foot is behind the rope or you're too close to the ground. So when your player tells you to fall, you should fall immediately without hesitation and after that you can climb up again and repeat until you're at the top. If you look real close to people who are afraid of falling, you will see that right before they make a hard move, they will always take a quick look down. And when it happens, they already are falling in their minds. And most of the time, right after that moment, they indeed fall. And that's because they are no longer thinking about climbing, but they are thinking about uh, how they're gonna fall. The purpose of this step is to train your mind to eliminate that little moment of doubt right before you make uh, committing move. Step five. Uh, we're getting pretty close to the end goal. Uh, now we're gonna pick a route on which we're not really comfortable because most of the time it's the most scary to not know how you're gonna fall. So on this route every time we feel a little bit insecure or uncomfortable we're gonna try to take a little break and make a small practice fall. So then you know what to expect on that point and that will help you in your next attempt. As you can see we made a pre-clip because the route Ars is climbing has a big traverse right before the second quick draw. Uh, she's climbing a 7A which is definitely not easy and comfortable for her and that's kind of the point of the exercise. The goal is to remain completely focused on the climbing and every time your mind starts to wander off and you ask yourself what if I would fall here, then you try to take a moment and you try to make that fall. Uh, after you made the fall, uh, you try to move again and you see if it feels a little bit less scary because now you kind of know what to expect on that point and repeat this process until you're at the top. I'm feeling really stressed out and I'm not looking forward to the next part because it's very steep and I know the holds are very small and I'm not sure how to clip. As you can see, it's not always easy to push away the fear. Uh, remember that for ours it's also still a work in progress, but she's making really good steps. And as long as you're willing to put in the work and also willing to step out of your comfort zone, then you will get there in the end.
So once you feel you have a little bit more control over your fear, then it's ready for you to go to the last step. All right, step six. Uh, this is the last step. Uh, right now we're gonna try and climb the same route as we did in step five. So a really hard route. Uh, the goal is to climb and only think about climbing. So you're not supposed to think about lead climbing or maybe falling or anything uh, related to fear. Uh, so the goal is to fall uh, when you're really tired or when you can't do the move, uh, but you're not supposed to fall if you're scared or insecure. So as you can see, Ars is moving a lot faster and more confident. Uh, there were some moves where she got really scared the last time, but now she just goes for it. And that's mainly because she practiced the falls before. And that helps you build confidence. So you're willing to take the risk on the hard moves. There are a few important things to consider if you're going to practice this. Uh, first point, uh, make sure you have a belayer that really knows what he's doing and that you really trust. Because if you take one bad fall, then you're back to where you started. Point two is to make sure to keep it safe. So don't make the really big falls, just keep it controlled. Uh, and the last point is to uh, be kind to yourself, so take it slow, take small steps. So if you feel a little bit emotionally drained, uh, just call it there. All right, that was the end of our six step plan. Uh, it's not an easy process to conquer your fears, but we do hope you'll get some inspiration from this video. Uh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, uh, consider to subscribe to our channel. Um, we'll see you in the next one.